Hello everyone and welcome back to another theory video. In this video, I will be going over how the paper world will be used in Mario Luigi Paper Jam. So before we start out this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps out the channel and the series so much and I really appreciate it. So after seeing this first trailer at E3, I thought to myself, what would happen to this paper world? Will it be used or is it just an excuse to cross between both games? The Paper World book looks just like a portal in between both games and could be used to cross over to do certain tasks. This gimmick reminds me of how Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story, and Dream Team use different areas for different things. Partners in Time use the Time Void to do certain actions to prevent obstacles from appearing in the future. Bowser's Inside Story used Bowser's Insides as a new world to traverse and actually find out how to get past certain obstacles. Dream Team used Luigi's Mind as a different playing field to get rid of all of the dream monsters. Every one of these games used two different worlds to add to the gameplay, and I think the same will go for Paper Jam. Just think about it for a second. You have a certain obstacle to pass through in the Mario and Luigi world, but you need a papercraft item. This aspect would add to the gameplay and the story and would make the most sense for the rest of the Mario and Luigi series. Well guys, this has been my theory for the use of the paper world. If you have a theory and want to discuss it, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up like if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next Mario Luigi Paper Jam Theory video.